excellencies present here this morning, our former Deputy Defense Minister, Major Derek Odru retired, the Commandant, Ghana Armed Forces Command and Staff College, Rear Admiral Moses Begbafo, Defense Advisors present this morning, the Deputy Commandant, Ghana Armed Forces Command and Staff College, Brigadier General Abbas Seydou, Assistant Commandant, Senior Division, Ghana Armed Forces Command and Staff College, Air Commodore Eric Irinchi, Dean of Academic Affairs, Dr. Anchidanso, Director General's Department of Training, General Headquarters, Directors and Chief Instructors of the College, Staff Officers from Service Headquarters, Faculty and Academic Staff, Graduating Students, of course, 77, the press, our dearly beloved families, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure and privilege as the Assistant Commandant of the Junior Division of the Ghana Armed Forces Command and Staff College to welcome you all on behalf of the Commandant to the graduation ceremony of the 77th Junior Staff Course. It is also my humble duty to present my report on the junior division of the college for the first half of the training year 2022. The junior staff course 77 assembled on 4 February 2022 and commenced lectures on 7 February 2022 with 62 students. Among the students are one from the Gambia, one from the Republic of Liberia, and 10 from the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The remaining 50 students are Ghanaian officers drawn from the Ghana Army, the Ghana Navy, and the Ghana Air Force. The outbreak of the coronavirus 2019 pandemic required that the college found safe and innovative means of receiving and engaging students at the beginning of the course to ensure the safety of the students and staff of the college. As such, the college hierarchy under the able leadership of the commandant put in measures to ensure that students went through strict COVID-19 protocols on arrival by organizing COVID tests for all the students on arrival to ensure that only those who tested negative were allowed to have contact lessons in syndicate rooms, whereas those who tested positive were quarantined in their rooms and received tuition virtually until they subsequently tested negative. Fortunately for us, all the 62 students tested negative on arrival and indeed and needed no, and there was no positive case of COVID-19 was recorded during the entire period of the course. The guests of honor, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the junior division aims at training selected officers to perform staff functions by developing their leadership, analytical, and communication skills whilst providing the foundation for their subsequent career development. In view of this, it is only students who are able to prove their ability and met the course standard that were awarded the symbol GSC, which signifies that the graduate have passed the junior staff course. This is an achievement that compares favorably with similar standard within the militaries elsewhere in the world. Our guests of honor, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, permit me at this point to talk about some aspects of, the, of this particular course 
activity and administration. As part of the experiential studies package of the college, Jira staff course 77 undertook an environmental study tour to the Western North region to conduct research into some of the existing challenges to the development of the region. The study covered five thematic areas which specifically looked at A, the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on agricultural activities in Western North region. B, enhancing agro-processing for development of the Western North region. C, reducing the impact of illegal mining on the social economic development of the Western North region. The other areas of study were increasing female participation in the local governance structures of Western North region, and finally, effective collaboration by the various security agencies and civil authorities for enhancing security for social economic development of the Western North region. I wish to add that the selection of the teams was done in consultation with the Ministry of Local Government. The students produced comprehensive reports which will be forwarded to higher headquarters for appropriate attention. Most of the non-military lectures on national and international issues during the course were handled by lecturers from the University of Ghana, the Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration, and some state agencies. I wish to take this opportunity to thank the Vice Chancellor of the University of Ghana and the Rector of the Institute of Management and Public Administration and their able lecturers for the for their continuous support for our programs over the years. It is my desire that the junior division will continue to draw on the expertise and experiences of these resource persons at these institutions in the development of our offices in the coming years. Other lectures also came from our sister security services and public and private organizations. The internal security and counterinsurgency phase of this course, which culminated into the final exercise code name Exercise Ombisma, deviated from the norm for a fourth course running. The college's inability to invite participants from our sister security agencies this time round was not due to COVID-19, but some challenges with accommodation. The crucial role usually played by our external participants were played by some of our students who will be graduating today. The roles were effectively played by the selected students and they deserve some commendations. It is my hope that when the situation improves, our security services and agencies will continue to support us during subsequent exercises. I wish also to acknowledge with gratitude the various forms of assistance rendered to the junior division in the area of training and logistics during the period. We appreciate the support from all the department and directorates of the general headquarters, especially from the general headquarters training and all the training and logistics support units of the Army, Navy, and Air Force. We are grateful to all of you for your continued commitment and support. Our guest of honor, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to thank the commander sincerely for his guidance and continued support. To the commanding officer of the Ghana Armed Forces Command and Staff College and his able staff, I say thank you for the logistic and administrative support. I would like to also express my deep appreciation and thanks to the entire college staff for their devotion to duty and total commitment to the success of the GDO division. You work with us at the junior division as a team to prepare and then run course 77, which by all indication has been a success. I urge you not to relent 
on this effort in subsequent courses. I thank my chief instructors, members of the directing staff, and the military and civilian administrative, administrative staff who should all feel very satisfied and proud of themselves for their individual and collective contribution towards the development of yet another set of Ghanaian international military officers. The guests of honor, your excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to report that all the 62 students of the junior staff course 77 have successfully attained the required standard and have therefore earned the junior staff course qualification. Some of them were outstanding and won various prizes. I congratulate all the prize winners for their outstanding performance. A guest of honor, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you all for responding to our invitation to witness and grace this function. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your attention. I wish you all a pleasant stay, an enjoyable day with us. Now, permit me, Your Excellencies, Commandant, ladies and gentlemen, to briefly introduce the guests of honor for this graduation ceremony. Is Brigadier General Delasechi retired? Brigadier General Delasechi was born in March 1954 at Seviepe, Bogami in the Volta region. He attended PJ Secondary School for his ordinary level school certificate between 1967 and 1972. He immediately continued to the Konongu Oduma Secondary School for his sixth form education from 1972 to 1974, where he obtained his advanced level certificate. He entered the Ghana Military Academy in November 1976 and got commissioned into the Ghana Army on April 8, 1978. He was posted soon thereafter to the 2nd Battalion of Infantry in Takradi. The last he is often warmly called is a graduate of the Army Command College, Nanjing, China. completion of the junior staff course in the Ghana Armed Forces Command and Staff College. I, Rear Admiral Moses Beck Bafo, the Commandant of the College, by the authority vested in me by the Ghana Armed Forces Command and Staff College Control Board, do hereby confer on you this 24th day of June 2022, the symbol JSC, Junior Staff Course. Congratulations. He had been ordained into the Roman Catholic priesthood in 2006. 
He holds a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology and a from the University of Ghana and a postgraduate diploma in education from the University of Kenya. Enjoys watching detective movies. A Nigerian Navy executive branch in 2013. He specializes in navigation and direction as a naval officer. Most actual students and critics from the Nigerian Defense Academy. He is a member of the Charter Institute of Public Diplomacy and Management, Nigeria. He is married with a son and he enjoys biking and sightseeing. Next is Major Patrick Kafui Ajay. Major Ajay was born on 1st November 1987. He was commissioned into the Infantry Corps as part of Regular Career Corps 52 in September 2012. Before the course, he was an instructor at the Army Combat Training School, Teshi. He holds a higher national diploma in accounting, a Bachelor of Business Administration, and human resource management and a Master of Arts in Peace, Security, and Intelligence Management from the University of Professional Studies, Accra. He also holds an executive certificate in Forensic Studies. He enjoys watching football, shooting, cooking, and teaching. Next, um, he was commissioned into the Ghana Armed Forces Medical Corps in February 2011 as part of Special Medical Intake 1. He holds a Bachelor of Pharmacy in pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences from the Brown Cromer University of Science and Technology University. Apart from this, he has undertaken several courses in relation to his career. Mr. Glenn is married with four children. He enjoys traveling, sightseeing, and football officiating. Next is Major Christopher Quay. Major Quay was born on 22nd February 1988. He was commissioned into the Ghana Army on 5th September 2008 and was posted to the 66th Artillery Regiment and later to the Ghana Military Academy. That's the course he was a happy commander at the 66th Artillery Regiment. He Defense advisors, Deputy Commandant, Assistant Commandant Senior Division, Assistant Commandant Junior Division, Director Generals, the Chief Coordinator, Directors, Commanding Officers, Staff Officers from the Service Headquarters, Members of the Director's Staff, Graduating Students and Families, the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I am humbled and indeed grateful to the chairman of the Staff College Control Board and the college for inviting me as guest of honor for this important graduation ceremony for students of Junior Staff Course 77 of the Ghana Forces Commanding Staff College. This occasion brings back to me fond memories, especially when once upon a time, as earlier introduced, I served here in the prestigious college as the assistant commandant in charge of the junior division. 
At that time, I think I presided over course 58 and 59 with some overlaps from my predecessor and successor. Now we have some of the seven. For sure, I'm excited and pleased to be, am to be among you today and therefore say once again to the Commandant, thank you. This graduation marks the end of 19 weeks of hard work and sleepless nights. Again, it is a ceremony that certainly marks a significant milestone in your career. I therefore have the singular honor to congratulate all of you for successfully making it to the end. The course has allowed you to broaden your professional and general outlook on matters of national and international interest through a combination of seminars and lectures delivered by competent lecturers from esteemed institutions of academic excellence as well as by renowned speakers from selected state agencies and of course the military and other sister services combined. There is no doubt that the knowledge you have gained will put you in strong position to appreciate and effectively manage the multi-dimensional challenges that are bound to confront you in your career and beyond. I'm also informed that as part of the experiential studies program of the course, you undertook an environmental study tour of the Western North region. I do strongly believe that the tour exposed you to the prevalent socioeconomic issues confronting the region. I am therefore hopeful that your findings and recommendations will receive the needed attention by the competent authorities to stimulate the desired policies to address them. I am also confident that, generally, the course has indeed equipped you with the knowledge and skills critical for junior staff and junior command appointments in the future. It is my keen expectation that you will apply the knowledge and skills gained to effectively deliver your duties as you progress in your career. It is in line with this belief that I wish to remind you that this course is only one critical step in your professional development. Ladies and gentlemen, as you are aware, the world is saddled with multiple threats to peace and security. Acts of terrorism, ethnic conflicts, armed banditry, and religious disputes are common, and the world news bulletins will never end without an account of one. There are also environmental disasters, infectious diseases, and serious pandemics, which experts describe some varieties of those as capable of mutating and with potential to pose fatal harm to mankind. Although not much is heard lately of the coronavirus, thanks to the combined efforts across board, public health experts warn that it is not fully over, and therefore we are not yet out of the woods. All these occurrences in totality are indicators to suggest there are serious and multiple threats facing national, regional, and global stability. What is more concerning is that these signs are crippling closer to our frontiers and front lines than we probably have imagined. I urge you as professional military officers to seek thorough understanding of these indications. The purpose is for you to be abreast with this evolving situation so as to be on top of them through your training and preparations will enable you to provide good and effective leadership and guidance to the troops you lead, using the knowledge you gain from this college as bedrock. Do not take anything for granted, especially the knowledge gained from the college.
This is because if that rail line is crossed, I guarantee you the bugle sound will call you to duty. Where and when that call up will be, you may least expect. At this juncture, I wish to say I'm happy to note among you there are officers from the armed forces of Liberia, the Gambia, and the Federal and the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To these allied countries, I say thank you for sustaining the credibility of the Ghana Armed Forces Command and Staff College. Your continued participation in the programs of the college is a clear testimony of our collective quest to achieve integration on the continent. I therefore look forward to more of such collaboration. I can assure you that Ghana will continue to open her doors to sister African countries to promote cooperation in all endeavors. I do believe that your stay in Ghana has been fruitful and rewarding, and I trust that you carry home with you fond memories of Ghana. I'm also pleased to note that the Ghana Police Service and other security services, although could not personally participate in the two-week internal security and counter-intelligence package of the course, they did nevertheless provide all the required assistance to ensure that the two-week package was well delivered. That program then culminated in exercise almost one, as Celia said, an indoor practical exercise where the students were rehearsed and tested on internal security management. I believe that the exercise has equipped you with sound skills to plan and implement internal security operations suitably in support of civil authorities and in a cogent and integrated manner. Ladies and gentlemen, as I recall, recollect and reflect over some few personal observations and experiences over my 40 years plus of service, let me at this stage drive home to you some few thoughts as you graduate, which you may well wish to take away as call to action. As future commanders and staff officers, you must be astute. You must be meticulous and steadfast and pay attention to details. You must be honest and inculcate high sense of integrity because personal credibility is vital. It is recognizable and it is measurable. Do not slumber on this credibility core value. Strive to uphold strong ethics and good conduct especially the courts governing sexual exploitation and abuse, as any such breach may give you a very rude awakening. Having said that, you must also develop an inquiry mind and seek to, and commit yourself to practical problem solving of your personnel, covering their training, day-to-day -day administration and welfare. All this in totality will enhance you and, in fact, give a multiplier effect to your abilities to deliver, deliver solid leadership, which will in turn project the good ideals and strong image of this college, much as it will foster the good image of your respective armed forces too. As I draw close to my words, let me state that you have worked hard to enable you to successfully complete the course. You all deserve my commendation. I particularly convey my special and warm congratulations to the graduates who excelled in various aspects of the course. While applauding you, the graduates, I seize this opportunity to respectfully acknowledge your families in a special way for providing you the needed spiritual and moral support throughout the course, an ingredient that is vital for intensive courses of this nature. I was reliably informed that due to COVID-19, families were excluded from previous graduation ceremonies since 2020. We thank God for making their presence possible today. 
In conclusion, please permit me at this end to re-echo to the Commandant of the Ghana Armed Forces Commanding Staff College, the Assistant Commandant, the Chief Instructors, and members of the Directing Staff and Administrative Staff of the Gina Division, my sincere appreciation and gratitude for this honor done me by inviting me to be a guest of honor for this important event. I accept my congratulations on your tireless efforts at, at achieving and maintaining such high level of professionalism and excellence. Well done to all of you and keep the flame burning. To all guests, families and friends who find time to grace this occasion with your presence, I say thank you and God bless us all. Honorable Major Derek Odro, retired a former Deputy Minister for Defense, a Deputy Commandant, Assistant Commandant, a Chief Court, Senior Officers from General Headquarters and Service Headquarters, a Chief Instructors, members of the directing staff, graduating class of 77, faculty members, our families, defense civilian staff, students of course 43 senior division, ladies and gentlemen, was acknowledged in the salutations and then in the formal introduction. But uh, because of his caliber, I have to add why he's here. He's here because he is the proud father of Major Anita Udru, who's graduating today. So, I say congratulations to you as well. Your good deeds are following you. We are very proud of that. This is the first time he's joining us for a formal program like this since he took over in the middle of the first quarter of this year. We are glad you are able to make it to this place. We are also glad for the continuous support that your office renders to this college. It goes a long way to make programs like this very successful. And we are very grateful for that. To our guest of honor, we cannot thank you enough. As uh, his uh, CV outlined, he passed through this college first as a student, as a directing staff, and then he came back as the assistant commandant. Indeed, his period was very critical for the program we are running in this college today because it was during his time that the foundation was laid for the transition of the junior division from single course in the year to two courses in the year. It didn't just come by a flip of the coin to say that, oh, we are moving to two courses in a year. The program had to be redesigned to accommodate the two courses in a year. It used to be one course in addition to postgraduate certificate in public administration and to transit to this and to allow the senior division introduce the hybrid program that we have now. That is the integrated program with masters in defense and international politics. It meant that we have to offload some packages to the junior division for incorporation into their syllabus as you, you went through. And uh, if you have been around training institutions before, you understand that those things require some deep thinking and then uh, 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 appreciation of the situation, not only when you are doing that, but in the future. We have been able to sustain that program for almost eight to nine years now. 
And I think credit goes to Brigadier General De La Sechi and his team as well. And we are very grateful. Uh, I wish to, on behalf of the Chairman of the Control Board and other members of the Control Board, make a token presentation to you that will serve as memento for you to constantly remember the time. Not that uh, I want to think that you ever forget your time at the college because it has always been refreshing. I'm presenting a, 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 a plaque to you. And uh, because you have also served, you know, I, I work towards you, sir. You have also served here as a directing staff. The plaque is in two forms. We have one for Daga and one for non daggers And so I'm proud to present the Daga logo and on this plaque for you. It says, presented to Brigadier General Dela Johnson Sech retired on the occasion of his visit to the college as the guest of honor for Junior Staff Corps 77 graduation ceremony on Friday, 24th June, 2022, with the compliments of the Commandant. 